Well, the most powerful space telescope ever made is coming into sharp focus through a camera designed by the University of Arizona. Down on your side, Craig Smith is here in the studio with a remarkable photo released today. Craig, this really is remarkable. Yes, it is. James Webb Space Telescope is the product of decades of work by teams around the world. But the first images are coming in from a camera designed at the U of A, and that camera is helping engineers adjust the mirror to bring the universe into the sharpest focus we've ever seen. This photo may be beautiful, but that star's not all that special scientifically. What does make it special is it has the right qualities as a test target to help engineers bring the 18 sections of mirror into focus so they function like a single mirror more than 20 feet across. Even in the test phase, the University of Arizona camera was sharp enough to not only send back sharp images of the test star, but also capture a sea of galaxies so distant you are seeing light created billions of years ago. U of A astronomer Kevin Hainline is on the team that developed the NIRCAM. He says the Webb telescope is much more powerful than the Hubble. Hubble gave us a really good view of the early universe, but if the universe was a human, uh, it told us about the universe as it was when it was like a one-year-old. And a lot has happened between, you know, when a baby's born and one, one year. He says the web can show us the universe as if it were one day old. It helps that the web has a much larger mirror than Hubble, but also because it's focused more on infrared, a type of light we cannot see with our own eyes. Infrared is more likely to be able to reach us across the billions of miles and years. Hainline's specialty is studying galaxies, and the deep reach from the Webb telescope should help him see galaxies form and help him gain insight into how the universe and life were created. The universe in its very early state was pristine. It was very simple gases, but we're made of things that are not the simple stuff from the Big Bang. So that happened inside of stars, inside of galaxies, and we can watch that slowly happen to understand how the universe created such diversity around us. Researchers compete to get research time with powerful telescopes like the Webb. But since U of A helped create key instruments on the telescope, U of A scientists are guaranteed large blocks of time on the scope. So they have more opportunity to use its reach to understand the universe. Now with the NASA news conference today, there was a lot of interest in when the telescope would be officially commissioned, meaning all the instruments are calibrated and ready for research work. They're estimating late June or early July, but they're collecting lots of data right now that they will release to scientists. And they're confident even that early data could hold some breakthroughs.